Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, I was going to run Antragos on this computer, but Antragos, uh, the installer, doesn't seem to install Grub. I ran through, I think, four or five different uh, attempts to reinstall Grub, kept on getting error after error after error, so I said, screw it, I'm not bothering with Antragos. Uh, it's generally been a problematic distro, um, and oh well. Uh, but I did look at Arch Labs not too long ago, and I said, well, I want to try this sometime, and I still have a distro, so um, I was going to do Antragos with GNOME um, just to have a look at 3.30, and so I said, well, Arch Labs can do that, so I set up Arch Labs running GNOME, so we have, uh, we are running this on an AMD A8 5500 uh, with integrated graphics, so um, six gigs of RAM. Of course, one is dedicated to those video graphics, so you'll see your screen there is indicating five gigs of RAM. And so uh, we're going to be uh, looking at the setup, and uh, one of the great things about the installer is that it allows you to pick a lot of different applications. So I installed a lot of what I needed uh, really quickly um, just on the installation process. I can choose what I install and what I don't. Um, and then there were a few applications that I needed to install with uh, Pac-Man once the system was up and running. And so those were, um, I think I added um, Cody. Actually, I think Cody was the only other application I regularly used that wasn't installed. Uh, so Cody was, uh, was set up there. And then um, I had to install Skype, which I set up through... Uh, through flat packs. Now, Arch user repository is what you would usually use in Arch. Um, that's not as easily set up in the software center. I wasn't going to dig through documentation turning it on. There's really only one application that I would use from that, and that would be Skype and uh, for my business clients. And um, the um, uh, this system does have flat packs enabled. So I said, well, I'll just go ahead and install the flat pack. Um, that did leave me some uh, uh, a few interesting things to install on my Cairo dock. So, of course, I'm not a huge fan of the standard dock, so I could have enabled dash to dock over here, um, which is something I could have done, but uh, I chose not to do that. Um, and uh, I instead just went with... Um, uh, I instead just went with um, the Cairo dock, which I really like. It is definitely my favorite dock in the Linux world. I did set this one up uh, so that it will auto hide, um, and I can you know pop near it to pull it back up if I need to. Um, I'm just wanting to if my spelling checker is installed. No, it's not. I'm going to have to install my spelling checker uh, if I care. Um, so eh, maybe there's a downside. I just have to walk through my my uh, my own tutorial I did a while back on how to enable your um, enable your uh, spelling checker and synonyms and things. Now I did install the Cairo doc. I got it set up just the way I like it. Um, we have uh, just very nice, uh, clear, transparent background with reflected with reflection. So the, there's three applications here that actually gave me some difficulty. First is files. Now, I did initially have this set up so that when you load up an application, you should just be able to right click, add it as a launcher. Uh, what I found is with files is it would add something else that wasn't actually files. And um, it was, it just kept on causing me problems. So I, I had to go into this one and just manually configure Nautilus. And I called it files rather than, than Nautilus. Uh, the next was, of course, uh, Waterfox. Um, so Waterfox is something that is on my folder that I simply call mobile home. And what I basically do is I just bring over the Waterfox file over, over from there. It stores all my configurations with it. And so that one there, you actually had to come into here and manually add your, uh, add your icon to that by simply setting your source as going home, user, uh, or uh, was it home, Waterfox, Waterfox. That's all I needed to do to get this one launched. And then, of course, I had to come in here, right-click, and make sure that my Waterfox application was set to allow executing of the program. Set up the icon, which is also inside the folder. Uh, it's not actually that icon. It's under um, Browser and Icons. This is actually where your icon is for that. 
Uh, so I was able to get that set up. Now the crazy one was Skype, since this is a flat pack, that is set up in kind of a weird location that I'm not even sure I will be able to find again here for the video. Uh, but in case, uh, hopefully I can pull that up, and hopefully files actually works. I tested it, it should be working. Oh, please stop jumping and give me my stupid files. Oh, never mind, screw it, I'll come over here and do it over here. Um, that should have worked, I uh, did test it quite thoroughly earlier, but oh well. So you need to go into your computers, into var, uh, I think it's lib, flatpak, app, here's your uh, thing there, go into, um, it's not current, I think it's x86, stable, active maybe, export, bin, I think that might be it, no, that's not it applications, desktop client. This is actually the file you need to execute uh, to actually launch, get this launched. And so that's kind of what I need to do to, to get the that over there. Would you stop bouncing, you stupid piece of crap? That is the annoying part about this. I'm finding that the Arch GNOME is not the best user experience so far. It'll be good to see, this is driving me crazy. All right, you, stop, um, die, just, Files, you, remove, goodbye. Yes, you're pissing me off, shut up. All right, so um, let's go ahead and re-add that. Uh, Cairo doc, add custom launcher. Um, let me go ahead and turn that to not always be on top. With our custom launcher, we want to do, um, I'm just gonna do files. The command should just be Nautilus. I might have spelled that wrong. And we need to find the icon. I'm just going to come over here. Let's go into uh, user, share, icons. And then we're going to just search for Nautilus. All right. Just got to figure out which one of these I want to use. I like this one the most, and let me just make sure I have that spelled right. So I'm just going to grab this and copy this. I like I tend to spell Nautilus incorrectly a lot, so we're going to do that. Close, and then just move that right above my weather, where I like it moving up above the weather. See, that's loading perfectly fine now, so, okay. Of course, it's still jumping over here. If it persists in doing that, I'm just going to get rid of that thing. Um, not sure why I'm having a problem with that icon. Everything else seems to be working just fine. Okay, that's just driving me crazy. Just stop. Just go away, files. Yeah, never mind. We'll leave files off. It's driving me crazy. All right, other things that I'm noticing so far is when I hit my uh, meta key to pull this up, it's loading and then disappearing again. I literally have to hold the thing for a few seconds and then it'll stay. It's That's going to drive me crazy. If there's anything that gets me out of this system sooner, it's going to be that. Now, the way I have it set up, other than the files, which I really need on my Cairo doc, other than the files, then um, I generally wouldn't need to go in there much at all, and I can just pull it up from up there. Um, not a huge fan of that. I'd rather this one work, but you can see it's just not working for whatever reason. So there are some quirks that I'm noticing with this. I'm not finding it quite as good of easy, as a user experience as I did literally on Linux Mint Debian Edition, where I dropped GNOME on top of that. Um, but so far, so good. I was able to get the system installed. I was able to drop all my folders over, over here, get all my emails, my clients, everything configured in only about an hour or so is literally all it took. So this is kind of what it looks like. Um, we're just a uh, fairly minimal type approach on this one. Um, I like the Arch Labs wallpaper. I actually just downloaded this uh, from online. And then, you know, I've already tested that Cody's working, Skype's working. I haven't well, actually watched something on Cody, so I'm not sure, 100% sure if it's working, but um, it looks to be just fine. Um, I'm realizing my simple screen recorder is also gone right now. I'm very concerned about that. <laughs> so let's see if I can, oh, there it is. <laughs> it still exists. 
Woo! Wasn't completely sure if I was still recording or not. Um, I'm not seeing any signs or notifications or anything like that. But anyway, we're going to run with this. I kind of picked the uh, half light, half dark theme. My title bars are dark. Um, there is uh, some decent dark themes installed on this by default. Um, and uh, that actually is was pretty good. I was just running the pure, excuse me, the pure dark themes. Um, just doesn't always work as well for some of the things that I need to run. As far as what is installed by default, um, again, the, the great thing about the Arch Labs uh, installer is you choose most of your software. So they gave me the option to install by check marks. Uh, Cairo Doc, Chromium, Kodi, uh, GeoVC View, um, Firefox, uh, Xterm, Evolution, Thunderbird, Simple Screen Recorder, LibreOffice. Um, so they gave me those, and I think Adam, and uh, there's probably one other text editor. I put two text editors on here. Other things that just installed, Chess it installed, the basic GNOME tools, so your calendar, calculator, uh, basic things like that were installed. Um, and then, of course, I installed Skype as a uh, flat pack. I installed, I think VLC gave me the option to install. There's some games on here I'll probably want to get rid of. I'm not a, not a huge gamer, and, you know, as far as racing games like that, I generally wouldn't use any of those. Um, but I was actually able to get the system the way I'm going to run, so we're going to run this for um, at least a week. Um, if it's going well, I'll run it a little bit longer. But at least one week, uh, we'll be running Arch Labs, and we'll see see how the Arch system uh, is running. Um, I'll go ahead and throw that uh, files um, back on there when it's done. It's very possible it's bouncing and being annoying like that because of all of the other things going. Sometimes on, on GNOME, when you're um, running a lot of extra weird things, little quirky things on Cairo Doc can occur. So I'm not going to fault that uh, yet. I'll go ahead and drop it back on there and see how it works. But anyway, this is the Arch Labs build. Um, so let me know what you think of uh, Arch in general. Uh, have you used Arch Labs? Do you like this uh, distro? Uh, what's your prediction? Am I going to like this or am I going to end this saying, burn it with fire? Uh, let me know what you guys think. And uh, thanks for coming along on this Switch to Linux video. Thank you for making it to the end of this Switch to Linux video. You can have a look at another video right on over here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel or to Think Life Media, which is my own personal support page. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.